This is January 2nd, 2023, and it's a Monday. So originally I was taping something off the internet. I was on a webinar, and it crashed. It's definitely their fault. I tried to get on a couple times. I texted them, and I guess they weren't aware that they had crashed. So anyway, I couldn't tape it because they crashed, but they did send me the link, not for the replay, but for what they were selling. So I have to check it out. But since I had started the tape recorder, I thought, well... This will be a genuine opportunity to talk about my goals for the new year, which is very impromptu because that wasn't the intention of originally putting on the recorder, but it is something I ought to do anyway. Well, Happy New Year to you if it is. And um, on my, uh, I don't do Facebook that much anymore, but I did put a post up of, uh, uh, because it gives you that reminder once in a while what you were doing a year ago or two years ago, whenever it was, and I did a, a New Year post about goals. And they actually had done a webinar. So that webinar is not up, so can't say it crashed, it's just gone. It's just a long time ago. But the video that I used in it, which is a showcase of me doing um, a show in Niskayuna, upstate New York, on a cable show, that in that show references a talk I did in my success club days for New Year's success uh, in 1995, believe it or not. You can see me way back in time. Um, so it's a half hour altogether because that's how long the uh, cable show was. So you get excerpts of the 1995 um, presentation. Go to NewYearSuccess.com, NewYearSuccess.com, and you can watch it. In the past, that was going to be a whole 10-day enterprise of different guest motivation speakers and a whole cadre of everything from goal-getting, time management, and getting all pumped up for the new year. I don't have the stamina or really sort of the, the wherewithal for that. I've kind of putting my focus on other areas more <laughs> of a social concern or arena of uh, civil uh, engagement and dialogue and um, I guess philosophically or ontologically speaking, wanting to raise consciousness in other ways rather than just chasing your goals, but all the more power to you and you ought to have some goals, something to make this year outstanding and special, NewYearSuccess.com. Anyway, so now back to my goals. Well, so it is a new year. Uh, the oldest, Elsa, 15, sophomore in high school, had school today on a Monday right after New Year's. But the 13-year-old, Ellen, in middle school, in eighth grade, doesn't go back till tomorrow, so she's got another day. We let her sleep in where I had to be up at 5.30 to get the uh, the sophomore in high school up and, and get going. I know it's unbelievable, right? But that time, believe it or not, 5.30 in the morning is when their swim team meets. She's not on that team, but I had to go online to verify that they really did have school today because um, the mom didn't believe it. And then I saw, hey, you could go at 5.30, you could go swimming. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, so quit evading the subject. So my goal is to get published some of those ontological ideas. I had a pretty, uh, I guess, fruitful, engaging uh, 2022, particularly the wrap-up of last few months, been doing a lot of writing. Igoism was one of my pat-on-the-back breakthroughs. I-G-O-I-S-M dot com. Won't go into it here, but the whole idea of an Igo, where you picture yourself in your imagination, which we all do, why hadn't anyone given a name to it? Because people say, well, it's imagining yourself. Yeah, but what is that? Or who is imagining the self is also an area of interest to me. I write about morb theory, M-O-R-B, dot masstrance dot com. You have to check it out, Mass Trance. So um, I want to get published. So I've got a few different ideas. I think a few days ago I was counting. I thought, well, I could probably really round it out to about 10 or 12 books. They may not be volume, voluminous, but they would be substantial in the way that I would share some ideas. And if you're interested in that, you can check it out. And also dashism. It's like fascism, but replace the F with a D for dementia. Dashism.com. All right. So publishing is really key, and of course, you know, being supportive where the family is at, but also needing to move on. So what's next in my life? So I've applied for a couple civic engagement type groups, um, want to kind of be a bit more involved, thinking of the Social Issues podcast, launching that, socialissues.com, having that domain, thinks like, wow, you know, if I don't make great use of it, what a terrible, horrible waste that would be, just in service to humanity, not using it would be a crime. So um, 
that's what I'm up to embarking on. I gave myself to February to kind of get it all together. And then May for the period of doing the podcast channel. Although I'm thinking about going to Florida at the end of the month to attend Podcast Expo in Orlando. Went last year um, in the spring. Had a great time. First time going. And it was their first time meeting since uh, the COVID pandemic. And uh, so it was it was pretty informative for me looking to launch a podcast channel, podcastchannel.com. That's going to really require a lot of focus because... Um, in addition to doing some podcasts and encouraging it, having to make a functional player website and getting VCs or investors involved, partners, to make this a robust enterprise, because I really do want to have it as a community endeavor. That's where I'd like to take it. So I really got to give some thought to this in great detail, being able to present this idea to a few people who would take an interest and really would see the potential. <clears throat> Message to you, Kurt. So... Uh, that, and you know, inter- that's going to be pretty engaging in itself. But yeah, community is a big keyword. So community conversations related to that, to the Zeidler group, outreaching to them. They're looking for a volunteer executive director, and I did contact them. So I expect to hear back, you know, into the new year, because it was just before the holidays when they made the call or the announcement. I don't know if I would really be a serious candidate for... Uh, but I would like to be considered. Um, and then other types of groups that I want to get in contact with, because I think it would be good at least for some part-time work. So it's engaging and, you know, something better than just being in the house all the time, which has been my routine most of my life, to be just a homebody. It has to do with my horoscope, <laughs> being the moon child. No, no, seriously, though, I mean uh, a little bit of side income and community engagement and to be involved and some sort of activism would sort of be great, I think, for me. And I would love to sort of talk about some of my ideas, uh, communityconversations.com, and um, see where that takes things. And, uh, yeah, sort of reach out, be a bit more engaged and and, and friends, uh, whether they're doing podcasts with me or just connecting. And, um, yeah, sort of rounding things out, looking at longer-term goals for the decade. I don't want to ramble here, so I'm going to cut it short, but that's sort of a good intro. We can look at the whole dimension of a balance wheel if we think constructively about, you know, raising consciousness. You want to have a a well-informed, balanced, whole-brain life. So, you know, physically having a plan, better diet plan, so sort of eat more vegetables and routine drink more water because I've been sort of dehydrating myself for years. Not that I've withered away, but... It's caused some issues. So working out, getting more physically involved would be good. And uh, do some financial planning. I do have that call set up for tomorrow. So that's good. Uh, Keeping track of my expenses and doing what I've never done, at least in decades, having a budget. So these are things that are in the works. I'm looking at other areas of relationship improvement and outreach, particularly to old friends, to, to reconnect and um, see if we can empower friendship in some way, perhaps launching the friendshipfellowship.com.org. Um, but that we'll see where that goes, depending on the buy-in, because <laughs> it would take a few to tango in this case. And I want to get more organized and a little bit more cleaned up in my space, less clutter, donating things and tossing others. And uh, making a you know a move on these projects and ideas, so that that's pretty much it. You know, the other things follow and fit right in as far as giving back, community engagement. Um, those are really important goals for me. And then looking at really you know a long term particular goals like where the podcast channel evolves to. If I would do a series of books, would I lecture, teach on it, create a course? Um, some, be involved with some kind of learning center? Do I get more involved in doing, I guess, uh, well, you know, like I'm just getting involved. <laughs> Brings its own cadre of things. All right, so like I said, I won't ramble on. I just took advantage of the opportunity to say, hey, the mic's on, webinar's off. I'm going to use this opportunity, and I'm glad I did. For the first Monday of the year, I uh, hope your year's kicking off good. Tell me about your goals. If I'm sharing this with you, other than making a digital journal for myself, uh, 
I'm happy to share it with you, and let's make it a great one. Yay, 2023 has begun. What are you making happen? Let me know. MikeRatner.com. Thanks.